Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Williamson with CG Cookie, and today I want to demo RetopoFlow for you. RetopoFlow is an add-on for Blender that brings together a set of dedicated retopology tools that have been designed with the artist in mind. There's two tools, Contours and Polystrips, and I want to show you both of them right now. So Contours is the first tool, and it is designed to handle the cylindrical forms within your model, such as the spine here on our pteranodon, or even the neck, or arms, legs, or anything like that. Anything that has a cylindrical form. And the way that it works, after we activate it from the toolbar, is to simply left-click and drag across the form to then cut in a ring of vertices. That ring of vertices then perfectly snaps to the surface, such that you don't have to worry about shrink wrap or surface snapping or anything like that. It's all handled automatically. And from here, we can then just cut in again, and again, and again, and very, very easily retopologize that entire form. So you can see all the vertices automatically snap. From here, we can go back in, we can reselect any of the strokes, we can slide them left and right, we can rotate them. Anything that we need to do with these, we can do it very, very easily. You'll notice that we're all in an interactive modal, and so it's very, very fast, it's interactive, and there's a lot of things that we can do. To get an idea of the things that you can do, you can go over here and you can click the Help menu and you'll see a rundown of the different options that we have, such as drawing with left mouse button, sliding with G, using left and right arrow to shift a loop, deleting segments. So for example, we can go in here, say we don't want this segment, we can just hit X to delete it, or we can go ahead and add it back in. So at any point in time, you can add new segments to either end of our contoured section or you can remove or add segments in between ones. You can also use guide mode, as you can see under tab here, where you can go in, just hit tab, you'll go into guide mode, and then you can hover over an open loop and simply draw out like this to add in a series of cuts very, very quickly for when you're doing long, long forms like the spine here. So you could also use this guide mode down here on the neck. So you can just draw out like this, and there you go. When you're ready to leave guide mode, you just press tab again, and then you can manually adjust any one of these segments just as if you had drawn them manually. So you've got really, really fine-tuned control over all of these. Whenever you're done, you simply hit the enter key. It'll automatically create a mesh, which you can see here, and then we can hop right into edit mode. And this then is a good time to demonstrate the polystrips tool. So this is the second tool, and it works in a similar way. We're just gonna activate it from the toolbar. And Polystrips is designed for handling those areas where you've got complex topology flow, such as a face, around the eyes, anything like that, anything where you don't have just simple, consistent edge loops. And what you can do, you notice that you've got a brush here that looks very much like sculpt mode, and you can adjust the size of your brush with the F key, just like sculpt mode. And then whenever you're ready, simply left click and drag across your surface like this, and it will lay down a stroke that then perfectly conforms to that surface that is a strip or a poly strip of quads. This strip is then selectable. You can see we've got the entire strip here, and then we have the handles on either end that we can then adjust. So for example, I can grab this one here. I can move it over like this. I can rotate it a bit. I could grab this one, I could rotate that, I can scale it down, I can scale it up. We could go ahead and draw out from this junction here, down like that, and then we've added in another strip, or say, another strip, or why don't we add one in like this? And so what this allows you to do is basically draw out the complex topology using Bezier spline-based strips of polygons. As with the Contours tool, we have a Help menu right here that you can click to show, and this gives you a rundown of all the different things you can do. You can see there's a lot of different options within the modal as well. So, for example, we can dissolve pieces, we can cut in new junctions, we can merge junctions. Just to give you a little idea, let's say we wanted to just draw in another junction right here. You can do it like that. But then maybe we don't want this one, so we just select the strip, we'd hit X to delete it, and then if we don't want this junction, we can hit Control D and we can dissolve that. But this is only just scratching the surface of polystrips. To go a little bit further, you'll notice that if I hover over existing geometry, it highlights the edges or the faces. And this is because I can go ahead 
and extrude out from these faces. So for example, if I wanted to just extrude out like this, snap into that geometry, it'll automatically extrude from this face, matching the size, and then creating that loop. Now, it didn't quite merge in here. Sometimes it fails, but that's okay because I can just select it. I can press the K key with my mouse over this other loop and it will merge that in. But to go even further, this only allows you to get the outline, you know, the main flows with your geometry. But there's gonna be many times where you need to actually fill patches. So if we wanted to say, take out another strip like this and then bring this down here, we wouldn't want to have to draw, you know, 20 different strips like this to get all this geometry. That would take too long. So instead, we can just select this, hold down Shift and select this, and hit Shift F. And that will fill in a patch that then is controlled by these four adjacent strips. This patch then, just like strips, where we can select them and hold down Shift and use our scroll wheel, allows us to adjust the segments we can also go in and adjust the segments on the patch and have it interpolated across. But we can take this a step further and create other kinds of patches. So for example, if I wanted to add in a strip here and then another strip here, you'll notice that I have a pentagon. So I've got five sides, so I could go and hit Shift F and I would fill that. So now I have a pentagonal patch and this patch also can be adjusted, so we can adjust the density here, we can adjust the density here, and all of it is automatically interpolated to allow us to have very easy fine-tuned control. So this is polystrips, and it goes a bit further that we've got additional options, like for example, once we've got our most of our geometry created how we want, we can hold down T and we can use the tweak tool to then tweak our vertices to get them into the exact position that we want. We can even tweak existing geometry if we want, which while doing this, it maintains all surface snapping to ensure that everything that we do adheres to the surface of our background object. And this is really crucial because when we're doing retopology, everything we do is about maintaining the original form, but creating the optimal geometry. And so both polystrips and contours have been designed with this in mind to ensure that you always get a perfect form out of your retopology workflow. So that's contours and polystrips. We've only just scratched the surface. If you want to see more details, be sure to check out the documentation, watch the tutorials, and feel free to, of course, ask any questions, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks so much for watching.